everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. Today I want to talk about one of the most common misperceptions, um, maybe even one of the myths about the network marketing profession. A lot of people that are not involved in our profession think that in order to be in a part of network marketing, you have to be a peddler. You have to be somebody who's constantly hawking your products. If you've ever been in New York and you go down Canal Street, I think that's what they imagine, you know, in, you know, hey, would you like to buy this, would you like to buy this? All the time it's like, pss, pss, you know, hey, I've got some stuff I want to sell you. You know, I've got seven watches up my arm. I've got all these different things. And, and, um, and I, I want to talk to you about uh, uh, that from a couple different viewpoints. There are many different levels of sales involved in network marketing. There's direct selling. Um, that still has network marketing components and that is when people literally build a customer base and they're out there uh, moving products. Party plans are similar where they're out there um, you know, laying out their products to people and, and letting people understand what it is that they have and if they want it then they can buy it. Um, but here's what all of us have in common inside of the network marketing profession and though, for those of you watching this that are not part of the network marketing profession maybe I can help clear this up. Here's what we do uh, in many different forms, but what we do is we are in the, in the business of building and growing an ever-expanding network of people using the products and sharing the products. We build this big consumer web around the world, if it's an international company or domestically, but we build this big consumer web. Um, for example, if I have a product that I like and I enjoy, I'm using that product, I may um, let other people know about it. You know, I give it my endorsement uh, and let them know if they want to get that product too, I can help them get that product. But if they don't want to get the product, no big deal. So in other words, I'm not pitching, 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 pitching my product, but if somebody has a need and I, I feel like I can meet that need and I have a product that really matters and I'm really excited about, then of course I'm going to want to share that with other people. Then some will say yes and some will say no. When people are walking up and down Canal Street or, or uh, at any you know, place where people are, are pitching their products, if you walk through your traditional mall and there's all the kiosks in the middle and they're saying, hey, can you, know, you have a second, you have a second, you have a second, not everybody's going to buy and that's okay. Um, all we do in network marketing is we let people know about our products or services. Some people say yes. If they say yes, they start using the product, hopefully they become loyal to that product and then they can in turn, if they become a distributor, do the same thing. So you have, it starts with you using the product or service, then you market it through word of mouth to some other people, some say yes, and now you have a little bit of an expanded um, network of people using the products. And then as everybody starts to share a little bit more, the network grows larger, and then people start to share a little bit more, and the network grows larger. So long as you have quality products that matter to people, which any reputable network marketing or direct selling organization is going to have, the ability to use word of mouth advertising, because in many times in our profession, our products need to be touched, felt, experienced, explained, demonstrated. That's where we come in. We, we put the endorsement on a product. I mean, if you think about any, any diet that you've ever been on, I can almost guarantee you that if you were on a diet, somebody that you know was also on that diet. And you said, how did you lose the weight? And they said, well, I just did this and this and I bought this product. And you went, good enough for me. If it worked for you, it'll work for me. Okay, I'm going to go try that product. And maybe, you know, that continued to go or maybe it didn't. But here's what I will tell you. In the network marketing business, in my business and in every, every network marketing professional's business, we use our products or services. We market them through word of mouth to a group of people. We teach them to market that to a bigger group of people. I don't, you know, lug around a bunch of products in the trunk of my car. I connect consumers, people who want a product or service that matters to the company that can provide that product or service that matters. Does that make sense? You know, so if you can get your head around it, we're in the business of influencing people towards a product or service that we believe makes a difference. We're not in the business of twisting people's arms. We're not in the business of closing people. It's not like walking onto a used car lot 
where everybody's grabbing you by the arm and saying, you know, hey, 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 can I help you? You're not walking down Canal Street or you're not walking through that mall with everybody saying, hey, step right up, step right up, I got my stuff. It is a very classy way and a word of mouth, real life way to take products and services that matter to people and build a ever expanding network of consumption. The professionals just have learned how to teach other people how to do the same thing and their networks start to expand with or without them. So here's my wish for you, that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a better way. Let's go tell the world. I'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.